Hello and welcome back. Previously we made a top-down player controller where we use the W, A, S and D keys to move the player. Also as the player moves, the player always faces the direction of the mouse. Today we are going to add a dash function to our game. As the player moves, when we press the right mouse button, the player is going to dash in the movement direction. We are also going to add a dash cooldown to avoid being able to spam the dash button. First, let's set up the dash input. We go to project, project settings, add new action. We call the action dash. Click add, then the plus button to add the events. We go to mouse buttons, right mouse, click OK, and close. Now let's add the dash function to the player script. We do this by clicking the script icon attached to the player. In the player script, we get the player input and use a player speed variable to move the player. And we get the mouse position and use a rotation speed variable to rotate the player. Before we add our dash logic, let's do a little housekeeping. We can move this rotation logic into its own function and call it in the physics process delta. Before we start adding our dash logic, let's add a few variables. We'll add an export variable for dash speed equal to 10, a dash direction variable equal to vector 2, and a can dash variable and set it equal to true. Now would be a great time to add a timer. With the player selected, we click on the plus to add a child node and search for timer. We click on the timer and click create to add the timer. We can rename the timer to dash cooldown then in the timer properties in the inspector, we can change the wait time to two and check one shot. Next, we click on node and add a timeout signal and click connect. We can see a function on dash cooldown timeout is automatically added to our script. Now it's time to add the dash logic. First, we check for dash input and if can dash is true. We do this by using if input dot is action just pressed dash and can dash. Then we immediately set can dash equals to false. This will stop the player from spamming the dash input. Next, we normalize the dash direction and set the velocity equal to the dash direction multiplied by the dash speed. Then we slow down the player just as we did previously. I explained this in great detail in a previous video. The link is in the description. Now it's time to start the timer. We do this by simply dragging the timer into our script and using dot start to start the timer. And finally, 
in the on dash cooldown timeout, we set can dash equal to true. Now, when we play the scene, we can see that the player is able to dash, but not able to spam the dash button. Let's increase the speed of the dash so that the dash is more noticeable. That was too easy, right? We now have a dash implemented into our game. Thanks for watching, and let's continue to build and explore these worlds one pixel at a time.